Hey guys, it's Ogre Barbarian here, and with me today, Mrs. Ogre Barbarian, and we're gonna open our Guilds of Ravnica box for something a little different. So let's go ahead and dig in. One stack, one stack, and let's start cracking. And we're only gonna show off our rares and mythics and foils. I'm not gonna show off any uncommons or commons. At this time, so yeah, go ahead and lead us off. Show it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a little closer. Venerated Loxodon. Nice. It's yeah. a good card. Yeah, plus one, plus one counters. Nice. To each creature that convoked it. Nice. nice. Alright. And I pulled the first mythic out of the box. We got Chase for Glory Chance for Glory. Creatures you control are indestructible. Take an extra turn after this one. At the beginning of that turn end step, you lose the game. I love these kind of effects. They're super awesome and it is an instant. Gotta love it. Alright. Oh. The camera, so they don't know. I know it's of no relevance, but this is actually kind of cool artwork on the back of just a random token. It's pretty cool artwork. All right, and then we got Deafening Clarion. Choose one or both. Deafening Clarion deals three damage to each creature. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Not bad. Okay, so the rare for mine is I can't read that. Gruesome Menagerie. Creatures you control, or sorry, choose a creature with converted mana cost one in your graveyard and do the same. And then do the same for creatures with converted mana cost two and three. Return those cards to the battlefield. Nice. And Mass there's reanimate. Also a foil. Oh, we got a foil. Got a, I'm not going to read the foil, but what just happened? I have no idea. Did go to sleep? It must have. Okay. That's lame. Did it pause? Yeah, it did. We weren't live, were we? Shoot. I can edit that out, so we'll just have to make sure we touch the screen every now and again. Anyway, okay. show off the foil a little bit. Mm, pretty. Yeah. Very nice. Just a common. But, you know, foil. And of course, I pulled the ever popular Chromatic Lantern. Oh, lucky turd. In my next pack, so. Hooray, hooray. Corner of my packs are chilly. Oh, that's perfectly fine. And then we have a Guild Mages Forum. Tap to add one. Pay one and tap to add mana of any color. If this mana is meant to cast a multi colored creature spell, that creature enters battlefield with additional plus one counter. That's cool because I play a lot of Commander. Oh, look, a Gokari. Oh, nice. Oh, oh you got an Assassin's Trophy. This the is chase one that I've been card wanting. in the set. Oh, yeah. Destroy target permanent opponent controls. A controller may search their library for a base land card, put that on the battlefield, tap, and then shuffle their library. This card is so chase, dumb. Chase card in the set. Oh, and another foil. Nice. Another common? Uncommon. Nice. Sun Home Stalwart. Nice. Yeti. Nice. <laughs> Alright, my next card is Don't forget to push it. Light of the Legion. Six mana five five with mentor, and when it dies, put a counter on each white creature you control. So not bad. I've gotten a lot of white cards. Not so bad. Far. I have gotten a lot of Boros cards, yeah. <laughs> I hate Boros. <laughs> that's, I don't know why. I don't know. Blood oh. Operative? Nice. Blood Operative. Lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, you're going to exile a target card from a graveyard. And then whenever you surveil, if it's in your graveyard, you may pay three life. If you do, return it to your hand. Not bad. Not bad. Good blood card. And then I have one of our new split cards. Got Response and Resurgence. Okay. Five damage, target attacking or blocking creature for two, or for five creatures you control, gain first strike, vigilance, until a turn. After the main phase, there's an additional combat phase. 
followed by an additional lane phase. Nifty. Beef of sanity. Beef of sanity. It's a lot to read. Well, but it's got, it, so. it's got flying. I'm going to hold it here for you guys for a second just so you can get a little bit of an idea. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Let's see if we can kind of zoom in on a little bit. There we go. Copy damage to the bit. player. Look at top three cards. Uh, that player's library. Exile one face down. Put the rest into their graveyard. For as long as card remains exiled, you may look at it. You may cast it. You may spend mana as though it were made of any color. Cast or type to cast it. Nice. That's cool. I pulled my... First foil, and it's the good old Child of Night. 2-1 lifelink for two. I like that artwork. It's a nice artwork, yeah. And then my rare was Colonel Troll. Three mana for a 4-4 four, four trample at the beginning of the upkeep. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, put a counter on it. If you don't, sacrifice it. Oh, cool card. And then you can pay two to discard a card to put a counter on the troll as well. So, Midnight Reaper, a 3 mana for a 3 2. Whenever non token creature you control dies, Midnight Reaper holds one damage to you and you draw. Ooh, that is going in my Balfour. Yep, I figured it would. My Balfour is a mass reanimator. Can I put that in style my style? Yes, you did. So, he will very much like that. And then I pulled a Beast Whisperer. 4 mana, 2 3. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Not bad, not bad. Ew. Did you pull the spider? Ew. <laughs> Sorry guys, I she, got she arachnophobia. Like the it's like arachnus, death, it kiss times like a million. You got the hatchery spider. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to focus. Alright, you got a hatchery spider, which is a 7 mana 5 7, reach with undergrowth. Whenever you cast this spell, reveal the top X cards or library. X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. You may put a green permanent card from the cover that cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in random order. Not bad, not bad. I think somebody might want that in their Ishkana. Ishkana? Yeah, Jeff will probably want that in his Ishkana. And I got our second mythic. Divine Visitation. Five mana. If one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, that many four four white angel creature tokens flying in vigilance are created instead. That is very, very powerful. I just got our, another split card. So we got Assure and Assemble. So put a counter on target creature, that creature can circle on a turn and create three green white elf knight creature tokens with vigilance. Not bad. Counter target spell and deals two damage to that spell's controller. Runaway sinking. Can you move this a little bit? There we go. You cast a spell if Runaway Steam King has fewer than three counters on it, put a counter on it. Uh, what do I need? Put a plus one, plus one. Remove counter. three counters from it to make three mana. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Alright. And then we got a Drowned Secrets. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts top two cards of the library into the graveyard. So that's not bad. Oh, what happened? Oh, right there. Oh, good auto. Little bounty agent destroy a target legendary permanent that's an artifact creature or enchantment. Not bad with vigilance, vigilance for a 2 2. That's going to go into hate bears rather nicely. And then you also got a foil. Yep, I got a shiny Ooh, shiny goblin at that. One red goblin blocks become a block by a creature. Oh, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I got another split card. We got find and finality. Return 
up to two creatures from your graveyard to your hand and put two counters on a creature you control, then all creatures get minus four, minus four until a turn. Oh, I kind of like that one. Omni Spell Adept. Omni Spell Adept, nice. So, five mana for a three, four, three tap. You may cast an instant or sorcery from your hand without paying its mana cost. That is really, really powerful when you start thinking about all of the really big spells in Magic that cost seven and eight mana. That might need to go into Tapioma. It might, yeah. And Thomas runs for three. <laughs> That's awesome. He, he's not a Kraken, though. He's a wizard. I don't care. And then I got Experimental Frenzy. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play the top card of your library. You can't play cards from your hand. And then you can destroy it if you like. That's not bad, though. That's interesting. Can you play cards from your hand? Nope. Well, we got a Fire Mind's Research. Whenever you cast an insert sorcery spell, put a counter on Fire Mind's Research. Remove two counters. Draw a card. Remove five counters. Deal five damage to any target. Nice. Not that we really play is it but no but there are people who do you got me another foil crushing canopy oh, it actually that. looks kind of nice and we got the good old watery grave Ooh. give me your shotgun so i'll take that chamber sentry so enters the battlefield with counter runner for each color of mana spent. Remove counter. X counters. Uh, deals X damage to any target. Pay five. Return from your grave to your hand. Nice. I think this is the one that Chris wanted. Uh, I don't think it was Chris. I think it was Kazuo. No, I think it was Chris because you guys were talking about it when you when they were over here. Really? Yeah. I don't remember. And then we got Camaraderie. You gain X life draw X cards where X is the number of creatures you control. Creatures you control get 1-1 one, one until the turn. It's not bad for 6 mana in Celestia. Oh my god, a mythic! Hmm, we got new Trostani Discordant. Other creatures control get plus 1 plus 1. When Trostani Discordant enters the battlefield, create 2 soldier tokens with lifelink. At the beginning of the end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. Nice. I like her. Oh, I just got the pack to end all packs. So we've got Arclight Phoenix, the third mythic out of the box. Oh, Flying okay. Hey, fourth, whatever. At the beginning of the combat on your turn, if you cast three more instant sorcery spells to turn, you can turn to the great right of the battlefield. In that same pack, we got the foil chance for glory mythic. Show it. Don't say it. Just show it. <laughs> and we got the good old Steam Vents. For all you blue-red players out there. I like the art on that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, we got our, our new Buller Boy. Ritual of Soot. Destroy all creatures with converted mana cost, three or less for four mana. Not bad, not bad. Another foil, huh? I'm calling the foils. <laughs> hey, it works. I, I can't pronounce this, but it's got a jellyfish! Narc Amoeba! Good old Narc Amoeba. Two mana for a 1 1 flyer that when it is put into your graveyard from your library, you may put it onto the battlefield. It's, I got a foil too. Sadly, this kind of reminds me of Rick and Morty. <laughs> Fair enough. Conclave Cavalier Foil. When it dies, create two Elf Knight Warriors with Vigilance. Nice. For four mana, that's pretty solid. Oh, not to mention we also pulled the token for this. Nice. Alright, and then my next pack has good old Temple Garden. <laughs> that's three shots. Yeah, I'll take three shots. And then, apparently, I'm going to pull all the uh, foil mythics and rares. We got Tajik, Legion's Edge, with Haste and Mentor. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control, and he gains first strike until end of turn. And then we got Citywide Bust. For three mana, destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater. I will take these and be happy. And our last one, Bounty of Might. 
Oh, the very three, three, Target creature gets 3-3 three, three until turn. Target creature gets 3-3 three, three until turn. Target creature gets 3-3 three, three until turn. That's uh, plus 9, plus 9 on one creature, plus 3, plus 3 on up to 3 creatures, or plus 6, plus 6, and plus 3, plus 3 on 2 creatures. That is very interesting. Yep. All right. Well, that's all we got, guys. Hope you enjoyed our box opening, and we'll see you next time.